Hello. Thank you. Um, first of all, welcome you uh, to the Sonic workshop again. Uh, my name is Kamal Bhatt, and I'm working as a software product manager at Stodis. And today I'm going to speak about a tool we developed um, roughly a year ago. We started this project called Monsoon. Uh, using Monsoon, you can basically monitor the Sonic switches, specifically Sonic switches it is uh, built for. <coughs> so, um, as a Monsoon, uh, Monsoon basically is an umbrella project which brings together several open sources. Maybe you have, uh, some of you have already uh, heard the name of the tools uh, which are being displayed here, Grafana and Prometheus. Uh, these are widely uh, used tools uh, when it comes to data monitoring, alerting, sort of needs. So we are uh, utilizing those tools again um, into our project called Monsoon. And apart from that, uh, we have uh, also developed um, a, a new exporter which will be integrated uh, to the Prometheus that is supplying uh, very much uh, Sonic specific metrics uh, that we will see in a live demo in a moment as well. So I would like to give, um, uh, say, a brief uh, uh, words about these tools as well for the people who don't know them. Grafana is basically is a uh, data visualization tool which helps users to customize dashboards and have a visual data in form of graphs, pie charts, uh, be it heat map, histograms, and, and there are literally lots of visualization templates available in form of plugins and inbuilt as well. Uh, you can, of course, design your own dashboards, and you can also um, customize and define alerts on the top of data that is being received by Grafana itself. For example, for a metrics, if you say um, a particular metrics goes above some threshold, you want to show it to be um, uh, in form of alerts, that's also possible. And not only showing the alerts, but you can also escalate alerts to different channels for example, Slack, for example, Microsoft Teams, or send it, uh, send it in the form of a mail as well. So now, uh, where does Grafana get its data from? So it heavily relies uh, to get data from its um, uh, um, data sources. There are officially 17 data sources um, you can find on their official website. Um, as a part of Monsoon project, uh, our more interest is into the Prometheus. I would like to uh, mention InfluxDB as well, because uh, our friend here, Kamran, um, uh, would be uh, <laughs> explaining a bit more on in InfluxDB, but as a part of Monsoon, uh, we will be speaking about uh, Prometheus here. So a few words about Prometheus. As I said, it's a data collector software. So it basically, on the, ba on the basis of configuration, the frequency you have defined, it goes and reads data from the agents in the typical terms of Prometheus, we call them exporters, which are running on devices. And those devices need not to be um, necessarily to be a Sonic switch. It can be your laptop as well, any server or anything. So it collects and stores and creates a time series database, which basically Grafana shows um, uh, on the UI. So metrics are collected and recorded with their timestamps. Prometheus speaks to uh, the exporters over HTTP. And again, Prometheus supports a huge number. I mean, it's a humongous number of the exporters currently available as an open source, which you can install on your device and have the metrics from. Sonic exporter is not yet there um, as uh, in the list of officially supported uh, exporters of Prometheus but we are working on that. So from, uh, Sonic Exporter is separately available as an open source you can install and it is fully integrated to Prometheus and uh, in this full stack, Grafana, Prometheus, Exporter, and, and so on. <coughs> on the top level, the architecture of Monsoon project, uh, uh, it's very simple. Grafana I have already spoke about. Uh, the, the just bottom, uh, you will see uh, Prometheus just below the Grafana. And at the bottom box, you will see it's a zoomed in version of a switch, you can say. If you have already used or tried Sonic, you, you know it's containerized um, operating system. It, you, uh, it runs its services uh, in, in various containers. So we followed the same approach. On the left-hand side, what you see is a Sonic exporter. That is, that is running on 
each and every sonic device and it is the the person it is the it is the software body which is supplying the metrics about the sonic switch and on the right side it's just an example of already available open source exporter in Prometheus that is node exporter that is in general very useful um, it supplies a lots of metrics about the uh, uh, resource usage uh, of your device, whatever it, it can be. But this Sonic exporter is very specific to the, uh, the Sonic devices here. So I have mentioned the links as well uh, on the left hand side uh, below the text. Uh, you can go to uh, and check out the links. On the link above of the Prometheus, you will find several and uh, lots of exporters available. And below, it's an uh, open source GitHub repository link of the Sonic exporter. So now how all these things gel together, how we integrate. So Grafana and Prometheus information is, is available in public domain and it's very easy to find out. So Grafana has its quite a nice UI where you can say, okay, this is my data collector. Go and speak to him and get the metrics from. So it's UI based configuration. In Prometheus there is a configuration file um, if you are going with the default uh, installation. It's under etc prometheus prometheus.yaml and you define a job name there. For example, Sonic exporter and which all switches you want to monitor. Uh, these are mentioned under target. And here again, if you are using more than one exporters, for example, in, in the previous slide you see uh, the node exporter. So you can define one more, more job there and you are done. So Prometheus will start collecting uh, the data for these jobs from that many targets and we'll uh, build a time series database. There are a bunch of uh, configuration uh, parameters also available for Sonic uh, that you can see on, the, on our GitHub repository as well. This, for example, is a Sonic exporter port. That is 9101 by default, but of course you can change it. Um, uh, you, you can supply it while starting your Docker container uh, in the environment as an environment variable. So uh, now what all metrics are supported uh, by Sonic Exporter as of today? Uh, I will briefly mention uh, the Sonic system information. Uh, this includes your device version, Sonic uh, version, and uh, lots of other things we will see in the, in the demo as well. Some platform information like power supply units status, are they operational, are they inserted, fan temperature readings from um, different uh, sensors available on your, uh, on your device. Per interface information, I mean, uh, we have quite a huge number of metrics being supplied for every interface you have on your uh, Sonic switch. DOM readings, I mean, uh, the stats from, for your transceivers, we will receive VXLAN, EVPN, BGP, static any cast gateway, uh, these metrics are also available. As I said, this is an uh, open source project. So you feel free to add more and more metrics you want out of a Sonic switch. Just for reference, I have also mentioned a Python file at the bottom. Exporter.py is the file that is responsible for doing all that calculation, reading data from the Redis database that is running on the Sonic switch and sometimes Sonic Exporter is also getting data di by directly executing the CLI commands. I mean, uh, there is a good thing about Son Sonic CLI commands is that uh, for some commands, if you provide hyphen hyphen JSON, then you have output in the form of JSON. And it makes so easy for, for, for a, uh, to interact with uh, this output programmatically. So we utilize the CLI as well sometimes. So uh, the class is Sonic Collector and init metrics. So if you want, feel free to have a look how these metrics are being collected from the Sonic device. Okay, I will jump into the live demo. I will uh, quickly browse you through uh, how the dashboard is looking like. Maybe some people have already seen it on our booth. We are uh, demonstrating in, on, the, on a, a small screen. So I will do it here as well. So uh, yeah, of course, you will find some tutorial videos of mine on the YouTube. Uh, this is uh, the landing page of Grafana. This is totally customizable. Every panel, dashboard, alerts, these videos, our links to the store direct and the, the company website are everything customizable. 
So alerts, uh, I have defined a separate panel as well, and the panel very much looks like this. The alerts I was speaking about are those alerts. So here you can see BGP neighbor status alerts. I have defined some PSU operational status alerts I'm receiving. So these alerts are defined on the top of metrics which are being um, read by Grafana. So Grafana says, okay, if the PSU status value is zero, I, you can configure inside Grafana, okay, this is an alert. And of course, the escalation policies are also possible to be defined there. So um, node exporter, I wouldn't go deep, but just have a look, I mean, how many uh, statistics you can get out of a device. This is available in, in public domain, open source, totally free installed. Feel free to expand all these. By the way, this link is available uh, in public, so you can hit this link, monsoon.stories.com, colon 8080. You will land up in a public demo, and uh, you can browse through the metrics what this tool is capable of doing. <coughs> So uh, we are more interested into the Sonic stuff, so we'll quickly jump into uh, this Sonic exporter dashboard. Uh, as I have mentioned in the slide as well, there are a bunch of metrics which are supported. These are visual here, journal tab, for example. So by the way, I, I will start from the top. Uh, these are the switch you can select one from. I am running a GNS3 virtual topology as well. So the, what device type it is, it is being displayed here. This is a simulated switch, which is running, of course, I'm uh, running inside GNS3 tool. I have, I think, one real hardware as well running here. This is the real hardware. So this is the Sonic system status. Of course, you see some gaps, some black things. So we switch off the hardware for the power saving sake during the nights. So uh, only during the day, this switch is on, so you see the Sonic system status is one. Um, uh, below it, we have a journal tab where you have a device information like hardware revision, MAC address, ONI version, uh, and uh, lots of uh, those things. Device uptime, memory usage, CPU usage, you can find it in the node exporter dashboard as well, but it's available here as well. Now some platform related information is also available like fan sensor temperature readings, yeah. Now it comes to networking. Um, what all L2, L3 information is supported, it's mentioned here, so you just need to expand it. For example, multi-chassis lag. If I have configured, I don't have any configuration there or a messed up configuration. So whatever it is, <laughs> it is showing out there. Well, I guess I have some uh, configuration on this GNS3 device. <coughs> Okay, so when I switch to this GNS3 virtual switch, you don't see any fan information. Obviously, there is no fan <laughs> on the virtual switches. So yes, so for example, on this switch, I have a MCLA configuration. NTP, uh, the sync status, zitter, offset, those information are also available. It's like uh, time since last synchronized, it's available in, in the parameter called when, if you go into the Linux and check. DOM, this is the transceiver information, uh, what all transceiver are in, uh, inserted, as this is a um, virtual switch. So it's not possible to insert a transceiver into a virtual switch, so I switched back to a real switch, so you should see something. So yes, so DOM readings are also available there, transceiver info, even, uh, the interface cable information is there. Now you see some threshold DOM information. Um, you see some garbage values there. Uh, currently the DOM readings are not supported in, in case of uh, uh, the DAC cables. If you have optical cables connected, you see certainly uh, the correct values. You can find it here. So I think I have mostly DAC cable connected. So uh, these are about thresholds, and uh, just uh, at the panel below, you will find the real-time voltage and temperature, uh, bias amperes, power. <coughs> uh, this is decibel milliwatts. So this is the real-time inform information directly coming from the switch. Now, uh, then, uh, lots of information on, on the interfaces. 
Oh, maybe I will have to switch again to a switch which has got some traffic on it. <laughs> uh, yes, maybe this one. Uh, yeah, this is DOM, this is interfaces. So uh, it will take a while to load, but yeah. Uh, the interface operational status, of course, but uh, you will see, okay, this also not really running any traffic, but you can have an idea what metrics you can, you can monitor. So size of Ethernet frames, queued packet counter, queued byte counters, for example, transmitted and received byte. <coughs> so yeah, Ethernet frames transmitted, Unix time since last flap of interface, administrators, of course. So here at the bottom, I have a PSU information. Again, plugged in availability, how much voltage and amperes it is taking in and giving out. It's a simulated switch, so no information about it. But on the real switch, you should get one. SAG, if I have some configuration, yes, I have. Uh, so this is down. So whatever it is in the database of the Sonic, you will be able to find it here. And the BGP, of course, some peer status. Sorry. This is running slow, I guess. Yeah. So BGP status at first, what is your peer status? Connected, not connected. IPv4 and EVP, and in, in both aspects, the peer of time and um, the number of messages exchanged, any type of BGP or EVP and message exchanged, as well as the prefixes exchanged as well, you can monitor if that is of your interest. <coughs> and at the end, yes, the EVP. In. Uh, monitoring. So yeah, if you see no data, uh, it's uh, it's the case when I ha don't have a correct configuration on the switch. So that's mostly the case. So this is a big uh, dashboard. Um, so I'm, I'm I'm running out of time here already. Uh, I will quickly uh, tell you about uh, the link uh, where you can. You need not to design whole the dashboard that uh, which I have uh, shown you. Uh, roughly, you can basically download this JSON. That is the part of uh, the, the repository of the Sonic exporter. And Grafana has a provision where you can import that JSON and you have your dashboard pre-built. And then from there, it's very easy to modify the panels. Okay, this look isn't good. I really need a bar chart instead of a graph here. I need a text, I need a table. So modification is, is uh, quite easy on the top of this dashboard JSON. So please, questions. <laughs> Two very quick ones. Uh, the first one is uh, how do you actually install the containers on the, on the switches? Uh, if, you imp if you connect it to a registry or if you have to do it manually, how do you do it? Yeah, uh, you will have to do it manually currently. Uh, we have Sonic Exporter Docker image published publicly on, on Docker Hub. So uh, there is a single liner command mentioned on the repository, you copy and paste on the device, and roughly that's it, as far as it is concerned to Sonic exporter only. But apart from that, of course, you'll have to do Grafana and Prometheus installation. These, uh, as a part of this demo, I'm running on the containers. To run those things on the container, the command, single liner commands to start the Docker containers are also, also mentioned on the repository readme page, so yeah. Thank you. And the second question, uh, we see how you know well you are able to to look at the information and the telemetry from the device. Uh, uh, do you also handle alerting? Uh, what do you mean by other thing? Uh, that if there is a fault, something wrong, that you raise an alert uh, so that we can actually take action. Because okay. if you you know if you are uh, a, an engineer working on. Uh, on the equipment, you are not going to spend your day just uh, looking at the, at the graphs. Right? Exactly, yeah, so uh, I think I, I shown you a panel where uh, there were some alerts configured. So uh, these alerts are not coming from the device, but rather Grafana and Prometheus system is pulling the data and it found some abnormalities in the data, then you can decide on, on the front and on, on the application itself, oh, it's an alert. So uh, this is this is so how it's, it's 
it's yeah. directly through Prometheus and Grafana that you handle the other uh, thing? To be specific, it's through Grafana only. Okay. Uh, although there is possibility to do it in uh, Prometheus as well. Thank you. Yeah. How often you are pulling the data from the switch? Okay, um, that is totally customizable in, in Prometheus. Um, it's one minute, I think. Uh, that's the default configuration. But uh, you can do it whatever you want. I mean, uh, you are free to choose your frequency. By default, it's one minute, I guess, in, in, in Prometheus.yaml. And the retention poli uh, policy says it, the data will remain for 15 days. You, you can uh, persist data longer or shorter as you want. And I saw you are connecting directly to the database, and you said you're also using the CLI, yep. and it runs within the container. Can you please give some clue how you're accessing CLI from within the container, and do you need to do any extra configuration as well yes. to access the Redis, and yes. you know, these kind of <coughs> things? And if possible, is it only enterprise Sony from Broadcom, or do you, can you do it on the VS, for example, from Azure pipelines? Okay, so last question I will answer first. Uh, this tool currently supports only Broadcom um, Enterprise Sonic. The reason is uh, this tool heavily uh, depends how your database is defined. I mean, we know this key will give us that thing from the Redis database. So this will work with uh, only uh, uh, Broadcom Enterprise Sonic. And uh, the other question is how we are uh, reading. There is a project uh, in the Sonic community itself which gives you Python API. Uh, how to speak to Redis database. So we are using that in our code base to speak to database on the switch itself. As the exporter is running on the switch itself, so it can use the password from the switch right there. So it need not to <laughs> travel over the wire. Um, you mentioned that this is basically running on the Broadcom Enterprise one, right? So are there any plans to like make this part of the upstream Sonic or synchronize with those people there or? Yeah, we would love to and we would <laughs> like people who can contribute to the project. We already have issues. People have reported. I want this to be supported on the community version. But yes, certainly we have plans, but we are looking for resources who, 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 who can contribute to the project so that it works on the community version and more flavors of Sonic enterprise versions even. But you want to want, so my question was also targeting like you want to keep this uh, like long term as a, as a separate project or more move into the direction of letting this become a central part of Sonic itself at one point? This will uh, remain as it is because this is tightly bound to the tooling we are using here. This is Grafana, Prometheus. If you are uh, you are asking in the direction of like, are you having any plans to adapt more traditional interfaces for network management like SNMP or GNMI, that is not existing here. No, so I, I mean the exporter. So basically just the, the Prometheus exporter. So would there be an option to let the Prometheus exporter or the Sonic exporter, mm. you named it, I guess, uh, become part of upstream Sonic? Um, not really. Uh, we don't have that plan yet, but this exporter terminology is making more sense in, in the Prometheus uh, ecosystem more than uh, to the Sonic one. If you see, if you will uh, visit the link I was mentioning before of the Prometheus, there is a variety of the... Uh, uh, Exporters mentioned, for example, SNMP exporter. What it does, it, it's related to network, but what it is doing in the Prometheus ecosystem. Because it's, it's agent, Prometheus agent. So we will target first to make it official uh, into the Prometheus um, uh, list of exporters. But yes, it is specific to Sonic as well. So it, it supplies the Sonic specific metrics. I was just thinking if, if it's part of the upstream Sonic, the pathway forward to becoming the official exporter might be a lot easier. Because if it's in the upstream Sonic, if it's mm. the Sonic exporter for Prometheus in the upstream Sonic, that will be the exporter for Sonic in the Prometheus mm. part as well. So that was my, my thinking there, but thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. Hello, is it maybe possible or on the roadmap uh, provisioning of the container for the collector uh, through ZTP 
of the zoning? So, no, so uh, not yet. No, okay. we don't have <laughs> any uh, such plans at the moment. Thank yeah. you. All right, I guess our next presenter is ready. Our friend Kamran from Broadcom.